happy international women's day and to all the women out there stop being grateful yes you heard me right stop being grateful why welcome to thank god it's a story saturday weekly video series where i share stories with you that you can use to make your messages connect today's story is a personal story of mine goes back to the year 2008 when i was in sydney doing customer meetings with a colleague of mine on the road now we got stuck my colleague and i got stuck in the traffic for more than 40 minutes we were bored those were not the days that you could scroll social media so we started chit chatting and in this chit chat my colleague revealed to me his remuneration package and i thought what i had heard was incorrect so i clarified only to learn what i had heard the first time was correct his remuneration package was way 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 higher than mine and i didn't sort of get upset at that time and it was one of those just oh, okay feelings but when i returned back to melbourne i really tried to reflect upon this and try to understand why is it that his package is so much higher we are doing both directors doing exactly the same job he's doing it in sydney i'm doing it in melbourne and the battle in my brain concluded with the feeling of grateful yes the feeling of grateful because this is what i told myself the story i told myself was excuse me you are asian you are a woman you are only in your 20s you don't english is not even your first language and wait for this one i said to myself that sydney is a better city that's why more important people work there and you're not as important therefore you work in melbourne my conclusion was that be grateful that you have a job in this foreign land be grateful that you get to travel and meet customers by the way the re- only reason why i traveled was because nobody else wanted to travel be grateful that you're the young youngest director in the team be grateful that you have a large portfolio of clients to manage be grateful because you have so much now the feeling of grateful as research has taught us can very quickly make us feel joyful and show us abundance and take away those unpleasant feelings but the problem with being grateful is much larger and this clarity came to me by reading an article by Abby Wambach in the New York Times she's a retired soccer player and she says that the old rule used to be be grateful the new rule is be grateful and demand what you deserve she talks about herself and says that i was so grateful for the paycheck so grateful to represent my country so grateful to be the token woman at the table so grateful to receive any respect at all that i was afraid to use my voice to demand more our gratitude is how power uses the tokenism of few women to keep the rest of us in line what keeps the pay gap in existence is not just the entitlement and complicity of men but is also the gratitude of women so be grateful but also demand what you deserve at the same time happy international women's day one more time stay storied i'll see you here next saturday with another story